Hey folks, and welcome to the next lesson in how to monetize your Facebook audiences through Facebook Instant Articles and Facebook Audience Network. Okay, so we have installed our WP Instant Articles plugin, which is a good start. Now we just need to set it up. Some of this we've already done, but let's just go through the process step by step. When you open your instant art, when you click on your instant articles plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will come to this screen that has the Facebook begin setup and the Google AMP begin setup. Now, this plugin publishes to Facebook instant articles and it also publishes to Google AMP, which is a similar kind of setup as Facebook uh, for mobile specific. So, let's just go with the Google AMP and start with the setup so we click on begin setup there's a download plugin from amp so just click download there's another little plugin that we need to actually uh, run the google amp as well it works in conjunction with our plugin so it'll take you to this screen you just click install now And it will automatically install it you just go activate plugin and there you go your google amp has been installed and that's good to go so let's go back to insta articles and that will show that it is now ready when you click on begin setup for facebook instant articles what it will do is it will open up a whole explanation step by step on how to do it we've done a big part of this already so let me just take you through the rest we're not going to follow this exactly since we've already done the first steps in this course the first thing we need to do is go to our page the gardener's toolbox here we are we're going to go to publishing tools Under Publishing Tools, we're going to go to Configuration. So, under Configuration, we're going to scroll down to the bottom over here, and then we're just going to follow the steps. So, we start off by connecting our site. We open that up. You'll see there's a line of code there. We're just going to copy this line of code. We are going to go back to our website. And we are going to go to appearance in our WordPress dashboard and right at the bottom is something that says editor this looks scary but it's really simple once we've clicked on editor it will open up a screen like this with a whole lot of code don't run away it's really simple you're going to go to the right here and you will just go down and somewhere on the right you will find something that says theme header so click on theme header once again it's going to open a whole bunch of code here all you're going to be looking for is the word head see there's the word head and there's the other word head so in that code that you have there the word head will appear twice so it's the opening of the head and the closing of the head so just before the second head you're going to press enter and you're going to paste that line of code from facebook in there and you're going to click update file and this is pretty much the most technical as technical as it gets and there you go your file has been updated so now we go back to facebook and we are going to put our URL in there. So our URL is the gardener's toolbox. We're going to paste it in there. And we're going to click claim URL. And there we go. Now our app is connected. Our WordPress website is connected to our Facebook page and it can start receiving instant articles but we're not done yet there's a couple other things we need to do so when we go to set up instant articles we click back on this we scroll down 
And down here somewhere you will find this little thing saying copy this unique RSS feed. So we're going to take this RSS feed, we're going to click copy, we're going to go back to the gardener's toolbox and you will note that it says production RSS feed. We're going to open that up and we are going to paste, Whoopa, I didn't copy it. So let's just grab this again, control C, go back here, control V, there we go. We've got the RSS feed, feed Insta articles, instant articles, and we are going to save. Your feed was updated successfully. Okay. And that is that. So for now, we are done setting up our connection to Facebook with instant articles. What we need to do next is a couple of other small adjustments and then we are ready to start publishing. I'm just going to take you through the rest of the instant articles information on the plugin. The, the next tab is styling. We'll just look at styling quickly. Now there's two styling or two things that we need to do styling for. The one is Google AMP and the other one is instant articles. We are not too focused on Google AMP at the moment because we're not really monetizing it, but you can just go through here. There's, you can upload a logo. It needs to be 300 by 300 pixels. You can get that from, go and do it in Canva once again. We're not going to bother too much with the Google AMP styling and then the Facebook instant article styling. I've already showed you guys where to do that. Uh, we, we can do another video at a later stage with more in-depth styling, but our styling is done on that. The next part is analytics. Under analytics, you've got the ability to connect Google analytics, Chartbeat, other analytics and Parsley. Uh, we're going to not connect anything at the moment. I'll show you in a later video how to connect analytics because it's not key for us to get going. Then we have ads. Ads we will only activate once our Facebook audience network, uh, our Facebook instant articles has been approved. So we're going to leave that out for now. Then we have settings. Under settings, since we have a brand new site and we don't have posts already, we're not going to worry too much about it. If you already have posts on your site, you can just click posts and enable Facebook instant articles. And what it will do is it will convert all your old, ins all your old posts into instant articles. It might be a bit of a problem if a whole lot of your old posts had functionality in them that, you know, if they weren't designed for instant articles. So, it might not be the best idea to do that. It's probably better to do it manually and just going forward. Then we also have default settings. Default settings, I normally have just the posts enabled. So whenever I do a new post, it will automatically convert into instant articles in Google AMP. I leave pages out. I don't convert pages into instant articles. Um, and then for Google AMP, the same. We also have force AMP compliance by removing other plugins, functions from AMP pages and display featured image. I like to display the featured image on my posts, on my instant articles. And then we click save settings. And then the next two tabs, contact and help and register. Register you've already done when you put your code in. Uh, when you put your key in and contact and help is just if you want to get in contact with us. But you can do that through a variety of places. Just email us and we'll sort it out. And that's the setup. That's setting up your WP Instant Articles. The next video we are going to start creating a couple of articles and submitting it to Facebook for approval. See you in the next one. Cheers.